um, are probably best known for your books, inspirational, as Alan was talking about, things like The Blind Watchmaker, you know, talk about the beauty of science, uh, the natural world. But you've also had your fair share of controversy, I, I, it's fair to say, in that you've, in, in presenting science to the public, you, you've been drawn into arguments such yeah. as these. So what is your, I, I want to ask really, what is your view of that, that, that interaction? How should scientists interact with the public? And how do we perhaps persuade people to pay well, I don't know what the right word is. Pay a little bit more heed, as you said. I mean, you would certainly say that if we said there's an asteroid coming and people said, I don't believe it. Science is as close to a religion as I, as I come, I think. I mean, I, I, I think one of the things that science suffers from is being useful. And of course it's useful. It's very important that it is. But it's also wonderful. I've called, I've called science the poetry of, 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 of reality. Um, Carl Sagan, I think it was, conceived the idea of sending out into space a kind of cosmic tombstone um, so that when we go extinct there's just a faint possibility that some civilization out there will pick up this testament of, of what we were and it would have Bach and Shakespeare and, and, and a bit of mathematics and, and science would have to be in there. I mean I think science is one of the reasons why we have to be proud of, of our species. It's also a bit puzzling as an evolutionist why we do science, why we do poetry, why we do mathematics, why we do art, because it's not useful in an obvious sense. And evolution is supposed to be all about being useful in the short term. And yet here we are, because of the way our big brains have evolved, doing things which are not useful in the short term. They may be useful in the in, in the long term, as well as being useful in the, in the short term. And so there's something wonderful about the human species, the emergent properties of the human species. And poetry and music and science are among those things. It's one of the things that really makes me proud to be human, science. <laughs>